Lesson 5.3, day two, can you get a pair of aces or a pair of kings? So the rules of the game, there are total five cards in your hand. Um, one person will choose the first card and record the results and then choose their second card without replacing the first one and record the result. And so the player is going to win if they got a pair of aces or if they got a pair of kings. So um, basically you can play this game at home if you'd like. Um, I will go ahead and model one outcome when I did play. So the first card I got was an ace. The second one was a king. And so that is not a winner because it was not a pair. The second time was an ace and then another ace. And so that one was a win. The next time was a king and then an ace. And so that was not a win. But then the next time was a king and the other king, which did end up being a win. So on and so forth. And in that particular game, um, out of 10, this particular person won four out of 10 games. Okay. So then when we repeated this and did this with a very small class, um, we got 33 out of 80 as the number of wins out of the whole. Okay, so that ended up being about 41% of the time, 41.25% of the time. Okay, so now let's actually get into the theoretical probability here. We're going to use a tree diagram because this is a sequence of events. First, you pick a first card, then you pick a second card. And so because of that, we want to use a tree diagram. So when you're holding five cards in your hand, there are two aces out of five and three kings out of five is what we were told at the start. Okay, so what's the probability that the first card that you pick is an ace? I'm sorry, second card. So, okay. When you pick two out of five cards and the first card is an ace, you'll now have king, 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 and only one ace left. Because originally you had king, 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 and two aces, right? That was the original hand. So now the probability the second card of an, is an ace is one-fourth, and the probability that the second card is a king would be three-fourths here. Okay, then what's the probability if I choose the first card as a king, that means that I'll have two kings and two aces left. So that would give me a two out of four probability that the remaining card chosen would be either an ace or a king. Okay, so now this final information here is going to be what's the probability that the first is an ace and my second is an ace. So my first card will be an ace two-fifths of the time, my second card one-fourth of the time. So I'm going to do two-fifths times one-fourth, which gives me two out of 20. And I'm going to leave it like that, okay? Then what's the probability that my first card is an ace but my second card is a king? That's going to be two-fifths times three-fourths. So that actually ends up being six out of 20. What's the probability my first card is a king and my second card is an ace? Would be actually the same uh, three-fifths times two-fourths, which would also be six out of 20. And then this one also ends up being six out of 20 as well, okay? All right, so then what is the probability of winning the game? So the game is defined to be a winner if you get ace and ace or king and king. Those are the winning hands. So I will add together the two twentieths and the six twentieths to get eight twentieths chance. So if I played the game many, many times, there would be a 40% chance of winning in those many, many times. So what's the probability now that the first card was a king, given that the person won the game? Okay, so I'm going to say king won, and then win is going to be my uh, notation that I'm going to use. 
So what is the probability that the first card was a king given that the person won the game? So the person won the game, we actually just calculated that, right? So the probability of winning was eight out of 20. And then what's the probability that the first card was a king was three fifths. So I need to divide the 0.6. Sorry, hang on. I needed to do the intersection of these. Okay. So probability of king and winning. And so first is a king and you win is that 6 out of 20. That's why my number was wrong thinking I couldn't have it that way okay so king and win over the probability of winning ends up being six eighths or 75 percent and that's really it makes sense because you started with more kings so obviously that makes more sense that you'd be more likely to win with two kings than you would to win with two aces all right so Let's go ahead and talk about tree diagrams and using this for a general multiplication rule as well. All right, so rule or big idea number one is the general multiplication rule. The probability of A and B happening is the probability of A times the probability of B given that A already happened. So if you think back to this event, the probability of getting an ace or a king changed depending on what your first card drawn was because there were a different number of kings and aces. Okay, so probability of A times the probability of B given that A already happened. So if A and B are independent, recall that the probability of B is equal to the probability of B given A. So when that's true, we would just have to multiply probability of A times probability of B. All right, so then the probability of at least one is gonna be one minus the probability of none. And we're gonna come back to that in a minute and we're gonna do an example with that. But that is one formula that can be really super useful um, because instead of you know finding the probability of one or two or three or four, you could just do one minus the probability of that not happening. And then tree diagrams are a great way to organize chance processes where there is a sequence of events, multiple events happening. Tree diagrams can be super useful. And so speaking of that, we're going to do a check for understanding problem using all these ideas, okay? So start by reading through the check for understanding context, and then we will do that together. All right, so when I read this, I see that, first of all, there are two factories, California and Texas, and then based on which factory the computer comes from determines what percent of each type of, you know, tablet, computer, or desktop they produce at that particular factory. So... Step one, the tree diagram to model the chance process. Either the computer comes from California or it comes from Texas. And it says that 40% come from California. And actually, I'm going to use a different color. It'll just be easier. I'm going to do 40% come from California. And so that means the other 60% come from Texas. I just subtract 1 minus 0.4. Okay, then from there, each factory produces three different types. And I'm doing my best here. I should have done this in a different spot. Oh, well, we're going to make this work. <laughs> okay, so the um, desktop, laptop, tablet. Desktop, laptop, tablet. 
Okay, so desktop, it says 25 come from Kelly. 25% of California has desktops. 30% are laptops and 45% are tablets. Okay, then from Texas, it's 10% desktops and 20% laptops and 70% tablets. Okay, so these are in the second part of the tree diagram. These are all conditional probabilities because they all come from given that the device came from California, okay, these are the probabilities of which type of computer it is. Given that something came from Texas, these are the probabilities, okay? All right, so now in number two, we are asked to find the probability that a computer is a tablet. So there are two different ways that a computer could be a tablet. It could be a tablet that comes from California, so probability of California and tablet would be 0.4 times 0.45. which is 18%, okay? Then the second one would be Texas tablets. So this one, probability of being from Texas and being a tablet is 0 0.6 times 0 0.7, okay? So it would be the probability of a tablet is 0.4 times 0.45 plus 0.6 times 0.7, which is going to be 0 0.60, okay? So you need to have the work shown that you multiplied each of those probabilities together and added them. All right, so now in number three, if we select four computers at random from the distribution center, uh, and this one does say with replacement, okay, so we don't have to worry about lack of independence here, um, what is the probability that at least one of the computers is a tablet computer? So at least one means, so we're selecting four. So either one, two, three, or four are tablets. So we'd have to calculate what's the probability of getting one tablet, two tablets, three tablets, four tablets, or we can just say not zero tablets, okay? Because it's the only option that it's not, okay? So the probability of at least one is one minus the probability that none are tablet computers, okay? So what's the probability of not being a tablet computer? It would be 0.4, okay? So the probability of being a tablet is 60%. So the probability of not being a tablet is 0.4. Okay, and then it's going to be four total tablets being chosen, so it's going to be to the fourth power. And the reason we're taking it to the fourth power, again, is because we're selecting four tablets. And so this one ends up actually being a pretty high percent, 0.97. So there's a 97% chance that I would get one, two, three, or four tablets, which totally makes sense, right? All right, so then finally, number four, given that a tablet computer is selected, what is the probability that it was made in California? So what's the probability of being in California given that the tablet was selected? So California and tablet out of just probability of being a tablet. So 18% of chance of, or there was overall an 18% chance, which we calculated up here, that the computer came from California and is a tablet, out of just that overall probability of being a tablet, which was 60%.
And so about 30% chance. All right, so thanks for participating. Thanks for watching. Um, please let me know if you do need extra help on any of this stuff. I know probability can be a little tricky at times, so please reach out if you're struggling with any of these calculations. Have a wonderful day.